How's it going, everybody? This is that brown bat here for a little let's build scenario or concept Christmas build. These are some of the things that I use or I will be using in the Christmas event. And so you're not going to see that. You're not going to see my build yet. And it's a surprise. All right. So uh, without further ado, of course, I'm using Frozen Flourish. Uh, so what the purpose of this is, is one, I haven't put out a video in weeks because why? Just because and uh, busy stuff. So you have two uh, winter themed terrain pieces. You have Frozen Flourish and you have Echo Base. Frozen Flourish, of course, is a power disc or a hex disc, or however you want to say it. And of course, if you're playing on gold, then you have all, all the terrain discs available. So what I want to do is just show you what you can do with some of these buildings that for me personally, I've never really had a use for. So they're under, let's uh, go under unfiltered and they're under building set seven. All right, I've had a use for these before, but I don't use them a lot because they're small. So I'm gonna put down just the toys that I rarely use. I'm not gonna put that one down. I never use that one, but this one, yes. Okay. I've never used that before. I mean, you'll see it in use in the uh, in the uh, in the special, but and I think, oh nope, that's not it. All right. All right, so I'm gonna count that out. I can't figure out what I would do with that. But this, um, I'm gonna tell you right now, I, yes, this. And so I'm gonna tell you right now, this one right here, uh, I can't even pretend that that's something good. So maybe you can. Um, what I'm going to show you is, is gonna open up, uh, uh, a whole area of stuff, uh, creativity that maybe you've never thought before. So let's take one of these. You can use any of the muffins. So, all right. So what did I do? Why am I doing this? All right. To make something better out of what we currently have. So get a replayer and get your trigger area standing, standing, uh, on standby. So first, uh, let's say you want to make the uh, Alkins uh, trading post thicker. You see how it's like really thin and I would think that it would be bigger than a regular house. So we're not going to really make it bigger than a regular house, but we're going to make it a little bit thicker. So I'm going to put that down there like that. And what I want to do so gonna merge these together. Very simple. So before I use the replay, I'm just gonna put that one in place and raise it up. All right, hit record on that. Hit clear, record again, and bring that down. Clear, playback. Oh, doesn't work. So we'll just take trigger area, just put it overlap it where it's gonna load in hit play there we go now if you don't want a gap there which I don't I'm gonna have to rework some of this again so I'm gonna have to hit record delete that hit stop and it should be in recents you know what I'll just pick that up Yeah, I don't want a gap there, so we're gonna do it like that. So just hit clear, record again, and bring that one down. Play everything back. There we go. And I don't even see any Z fighting. So, I mean, that kind of makes it thicker. So if that's something you want to do, then you. Now you have a back door. Da -da 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 -da. I know it's kind of small, but 
You know what? I had to live with that. I had to live with that. All right. So now another thing that we can do is take these and make a little bit uh, bigger house. We're going to do a couple things with these. So let me put this one back there so I don't have to dig for it and just get a fresh one. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do that. So hit record. Now you can do this with the other one. I just find that the other one doesn't look as good. Oopsie. Let me play that back. Get a fresh one of these. Try that again. Record. Clear. Record. Bring it down. Clear. Play. So it just fills it out a little bit more and it you know it really makes a difference when you put multiples together and of course you have doors all the way around now but you know what that's okay and you have two chimneys but you know what uh that's okay uh when you're making something really small and i i think when we put multiple ones uh together it uh, actually uh, makes a aesthetic, uh, aesthetic difference, a visible difference. All right, let's clear this out and make a new one. Uh, let's say I want a uh, larger church. Again, these are just simple things that you can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Just make a, a cross. All right. Like that. Can't remember if I made that fresh or not, so let's do it. So we'll hit record. Oop. one of those things where you can put them on top but you can't select the bottom hit stop I just want to actually I need one of those for lining things up hit record hit the bottom ones hit clear hit record bring that one down Flip it and do that. Hit clear. Hit playback. We need some help. Do that. Hit play again. No, don't do that. There we go. Now we have a one of the tinier churches. Uh, bigger and of course we have doors on all sides but I like that better and you can of course adjust this by maybe you don't want the back end and just clip that off and now you have a T and you can also bring this in and adjust that accordingly by moving that like that so if I hit record delete that hit stop I don't want it to replay and have more than one if I'm gonna if I'm gonna do it this way I'm set that there hit clear hit record bring that down Playback. And now I just made it a little bit more stumpy. Oops, that one's still on the recorder. You get the picture. 
So, just things you can do. All right. And you can do the same thing with the uh, the Arendelle Church. Uh, let me show you that. Same concept. Just looks a little bit different. Let me give it another platform here. Let's see about setting these in place. This one, I'm going to have the steeples going the same way, but because the door is positioned different, there's not going to be a side door. That's fine. And depending on how you want it, you can have it a T, you can have it across. And in this instance, I'm just going to stick this right like that. So it'll be a T. Not sure if figures we'll bring no, no. Uh, I picked the wrong one. There we go. Hey, you know what? Get over here. Record, flip it, place it down, clear, record. And bring you all the way down. Now here's another trick. I don't think I need to show it to you because it's doing the same thing. But what you can do if you're, if you, have uh, your parameters or your your map or your building lot is too small just scrunch them together more you know bring bring those inside you know bring those closer together just you know play around with it you can make them smaller you can make them bigger by adding more so let me hit clear playback probably oh you don't need help for that one and of course now you have a bigger uh, church and you can add on to it if you so desire but of course it looks a lot better in my opinion all right so now we got a fresh one of these and now let's monkey around with the houses again so I've always liked the idea of having gingerbread houses, but they, the shape of those is just too ridiculous for me anyway. All right, so I want windows. So I always thought it odd, and these these houses, they're, not, they're, they're cabins, <laughs> really. All right, so you got windows on the side, but not windows on the front. So this is gonna enable us to get windows on the front. So I'm gonna do three of these. And it's going to be the same thing. I'm just going to rotate them because chimney, you know. Bring you over here. And I'm going to take one of these. Now, the color of this. I don't recommend that. It's pink. It just doesn't fit. I'll show you. Raise that up a little bit. Just get it in place. You know what? All right. So now we have the brown one. Get it in place. And we have the cupcake. Just get it in place. What you're doing is you're just making it poke out just a little bit. All right, hit record. Hit the houses.
hit clear, hit record and bring all the gingerbread houses down. Hit clear again. And now you have better gingerbread houses. Now, to me, that doesn't fit. Um, I don't like that because you can see the uh, how the, uh, the house uh, door comes through that. Uh, one of the things you can do, though, you can hit record. I'm just going to delete that for now. You can bring it out to stick out more, too. Hit stop. So you can have it stick out more. It might look a little goofy with the pink one, you know, pink and brown, but may, might look better with the brown. Brown and brown, you know. So hit clear, record, bring that one down, clear, playback. A little bit more goofy. I like it better like this. Actually, this one looks the best. Uh, it blends in a little bit better. But it's up to you. And to me, I think that looks like more like a gingerbread house than, you know, what they gave us. I mean, if you're just going to put it on there and have like one there. and you're, But if you're going to build a town, I recommend this. And another thing you can do is uh, I don't recommend it with these houses because you can't tell, you know, with the roof there. But. But what we'll do, take a, take a cupcake, make a new uh, replayer, hit record. All right, let's hit stop first. All right, what door do you want? Um, how about the Sunday house? Stick that right there there all right so clear that out hit record and bring that down hit clear hit playback all right now you got yourself uh, a cupcake house if you so desire all right well we're not done yet um, the same concept we did with these, we can also do with those houses. So let me do the candy house one. I can do that. Make this fresh. How about we do a the next door neighbor? It's the pink house. All right, so let's hit record. Clear, record, and bring them both down. Clear, playback. Oh, the pink one needs some help. So do I have a trigger area around here? Oh, I'll get a new one. Hit playback again. There we go. All done with that. And now you have gingerbread houses that look more gingerbread housey and of course one of the things i like to do maybe not use the long one i like to use the square ones and, and of course you if you want it to go in there you're gonna have to use the replayer but that's that's fine but uh i always like to Now I would have had that planned out 
you know, if I was actually doing this for, uh, for real. <laughs> Well, that's fine. I always want something to, especially when you're in the snow, um, you want the uh, sidewalk to be visible. And cobblestone, to me, is a really good Christmassy sidewalk. Alternatively, you could go to the farm. I think it's under the farmland. Yeah, and you can do muddy, muddy uh, dirt roads if you want. Um, I just, that's not Christmas to me. I guess it would be if you're like in the back, if you like had the, you know, like the outback courtyard from like, uh, people that, you know, the lower income housing with, you know, I don't know. I'm guessing. All right. So let's do uh, one more. We want pink. Do another pink one next door. And this time, of course, how about, how about, can we uh, give it a different, can we combine the Sunday house? We can combine the Sunday house. So just different things you can do. So we'll put that in there and where's that cupcake? Pink, chocolate, take your pick. Let's use that one. So we'll bring all those down. So same story as before. Um, you can flip these too if you want. It doesn't matter, but it might matter if you don't want everything to look identical. Sometimes it does matter. Uh, sometimes certain things... Uh, give you some Z fighting if you do it a certain way, but trial and error, escape, playback. Huh? We want the cupcake to come in. So let's get our uh, trigger area here. Clear, playback. A little bit weird, but it's something you can do if you want. You can get a different cupcake if you so choose as well. And I actually used the wrong uh, house. So let's uh, change it. <laughs> Some reason I used the, uh, the brown one. So let me hit record on that. See if I can carefully delete that. All right, hit clear. Hit record and just bring that down like that. Hit clear, hit playback, and now it more matches the cupcake. But these are things that you can do ideas for Christmas time in a toy box if that is what you would like to do. If not, then, well, I appreciate you watching. Until next time, maybe I'll show you how to make a reindeer fly. I know it's pathetic. The only way I could figure out how to get a reindeer to fly is pathetic, but you might like it. So I shouldn't have told you it's pathetic. <laughs> I shouldn't have planted that seed of doubt. But anyway, until next time, remember, happy Christmas and keep on building.